Good morning. It's been a while since we've had a garden tour. So let's start it properly with some music. First a bell. I believe that's C sharp. <laughs> Next, the wind chimes. Finally. It's actually, oh wow. Oops, sorry. So, <laughs> oops, it's a large cobweb. <laughs> right, so welcome to Chris's garden. We start with, well, the bells, the sounds. This is some variation of sunflower that my dear friend on Long Island, actually most of the garden began with the, <laughs> with the blessings and kind donations of uh, my friend, uh, my friend Lauren on Long Island, um, affectionately known as Long Island Lauren. So this is a little tiny plant that last summer, was it last summer? Last summer I had three flowers, <laughs> three flowers on it. Um, and I had to barricade it because my, um, my, I live at my dad's house and he has someone come and cut the grass. <laughs> and he slaughtered some of it, bits of it. But it is doing okay, actually. There's all kinds of beautiful things. Anyway, I had to tie it up. <laughs> Thank you, Pennsylvania Storms. And here are raspberries, also courtesy of Long Island Lord. And check this out. They're amazing. So beautiful. Tis, oh, look at this one's ready to like partly, oh geez, it's falling off. Hang on, let's just take it off and eat it. <laughs> mm, gardening in action. Grow it and eat it. Mm. You will not taste a more delicious raspberry than one that you grow yourself. Oh, look, here's another one. Check this out. This beautiful <laughs> raspberry. <laughs> Mm. It's like pure, pure sugar. I just went for a run too. <laughs> Extra delicious. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you, Lauren. This video is dedicated to Lauren. Long Island Lauren, who is, um, if you know anyone or have known anyone who ever dealt with Alzheimer's disease, maybe you want to give a little money to Lauren's business. <laughs> Um, in honor of your person because she she fundraises and she provides resources to her community um, about re, um, Alzheimer's. Back to the garden. <laughs> um, this is a volunteer plant that I have no idea what it's making if it hasn't produced any babies. We've got a bean plant and a pea plant and we have basil and either broccoli or cauliflower flowers, basil, we've got kale, Thai basil, so this is sweet basil, it's a little baby plant. Um, this is a tomato, all the tomatoes here, all the tomato plants here are cherry tomatoes. This tomato plant, same, and it's this, and they make these, I don't know what they call cherries, I've never seen a cherry this big, like maybe this possibly that big. It's like a big cherry, but this is, it's like a mini apple, but it's really the most delicious little tomato you will eat. And this, these are seeds. I let a bunch of things go to seed this, this time around, <laughs> this time around. Lots and lots of tomatoes. Ooh. And beautifully ripened ones. I'll just leave them. Um, these are lettuce seeds that, that I hung here to dry, but maybe I'll just end up with a bunch of lettuce down here. And we have tomato plants that is needs to be tucked in here. Hi, go on in there. C 
See, they really truly are vines, huh? I didn't realize that. My tomatoes didn't do so well in Vietnam. And then I have uh, chard, different kinds of... Oh, let's see, that doesn't look so happy. Like, um, I guess I'll just eat it. <laughs> um, this is why I garden, because it's fun. But you can see this is yellow chard. I don't know what this is. I think this may be a weed. That's a weed. Weeds. This is like broccoli or cauliflower, but I don't know. Um, that's a pepper plant with the bell pepper. Thai basil. More flowers that are drying. So we're gonna check out the seeds. They'll probably reseed. It probably reseeds itself. And then there's a lot of weeds here. So as long as I take care of the weeds, I'll know where the flowers are growing. I also have some ginger. Where's the ginger? Oh, the ginger's back here. There's the ginger. Hi, ginger. Surrounded by grass. Let's get some grass out of here. This is what happens. You come out to the garden and you don't mean to garden, but you just can't help it. You, all you, you end up weeding. So yeah. And then flowers. This is the Cosmo that is, I guess it's taller than me. <laughs> taller than me. Definitely. Definitely taller than me. <laughs> My mouth is full of vegetables. Vegetable matter. Yeah, baby arugula. We've got yellow squash. And just all kinds of beautiful tomatoes and cilantro over here. There's some thyme over there. <laughs> More tomatoes. And always peace. <laughs> Here's what I did for the tomatoes because they truly are, it's a vine. It really is a vine. Check this out. And this, here's another Cosmo that's, I think if it were, if it were standing upright, it also would be taller than me. But check this out. This is pretty amazing. <laughs> this tomato plant here. And these are peppers. I don't know if much will come of them. Look at this beautiful. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, we've got some Thai basil right here. If you haven't had Thai basil before, um, go have some pho and rip up the green stuff they give you on the side that's Thai basil. It's this stuff, it's really delicious. Um, some of these have been eaten by bugs and I feel like I leave them so that they can just keep eating the same ones. Otherwise, they'll just open new ones. Um, and there's some super ripe tomatoes. Like this one looks ready to go. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tomato. And then what's really cool is we have lettuce, baby lettuce. All this baby lettuce here. And then we have, we have these guys, cucumbers, there's a watermelon, <laughs> we have carrots, some more flowers, beets, that's the arugula, also known as rocket, and there's the yellow squash from this angle, you can actually see it, and the whole garden that's like, <laughs> barely by these strings, <laughs> random ropes and holes in the ground that I have created <laughs> in order to hold it all up. So yeah, yeah, we shall see what becomes the garden. <laughs>